Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to Nightline. I am your host for the evening. I am Annie T. Broughton, and I tell you what, we're going to have an amazing time on Nightline tonight. We have some amazing guests that's going to be on the set with me. We have none other than Bishop Isaac McCullough. The bishop is in the house tonight. Amen. From Harvest Missionary Baptist Church. Also, we have Prophetess Virginia Turner. Oh my God, so I'm telling you, God, we're going to have a wonderful time. So what we want you to do is pick up the phone and call someone and ask them to tune into Nightline tonight. Our musical guest is Summers Rain. She is a beautiful, anointed, gifted, sweet young woman of God. And I tell you, she's going to set the atmosphere for the whole program tonight and God is going to move in a mighty way. I do have a scripture that I want to share tonight. It's lifted from Matthew 28, 18 and 20. It says, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise for such a mighty word from the Lord tonight. I tell you, God is going to move. We can see by reading from the scripture that God is a God of action. He said, go. Somebody at home said, go. Make, baptize, teach. And then he said, I am with you always to the end yeah. of the age. So tonight, I tell you, Bishop McCullough, Prophet Turner, and Summers Rain, they're going to be talking about and sharing what it is to go and do what the Holy Spirit commands us to do. We're going to have a wonderful time tonight. We want you to call someone, ask them to tune in to Nightline because the joy of the Lord is going to flood in this Thank place tonight. It's going to overflow. We're going to have preaching. We're going to have teaching. We're going to have ministry. We're going to have singing. We're going to have rejoicing tonight on Nightline. To God, to God be all the glory. Right now, we're getting ready to go to Summer's Rain, and she's going to be singing, We Want You. Amen. We start off on this evening. We want to celebrate the King of Glory and we want to set our affections on Him. And wherever you are, sitting in your living room, sitting in your bedroom, somebody just tell out, I want you, God, more than anything. I need you, God, more than anything. So we declare, oh God, to the unexpected, the supernatural, and move among the earth with no restrictions. Turn it 
praise God. So as you can see, we're going to have a wonderful yes. time tonight on Night Mind. So what we want you to do is just pick up the phone and call someone and ask them to tune in because God is moving in the house on tonight and we give God all the glory for that. Again, I am Annie T. Broughton. and I am your host for this evening and we do have some amazing prayer partners. So we want you to pick up the phone and call in tonight. Anything that you need prayer for tonight, we are here to be a blessing to you through the spirit of the living God. But we, we're getting ready to go to our guest tonight. We have Bishop Isaac McCullough and Prophetess Virginia Turner. So hi, Bishop. Hello. Shake your hands tonight. You God bless tonight? you. Fine, doing good so tonight. So glad to have you with us I on Night Line. I am excited to be here tonight. <laughs> I tell you, this is a blessing. Well, Amen. when I heard that you were coming, my heart was made glad. <laughs> Because I say, I know we're going to have an awesome time because I know you. I know that you don't hold back. <laughs> Amen. You know me. <laughs> I have to do what thus said the Lord. What thus says the Lord. And I'm also sincere about the gospel Amen. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everything, I don't take it for granted. Uh, life is short. And I think if we're going to do anything, be real now in this time of day Amen. that we live. So I'm giving my all to the Lord. Amen. And what I do, I'm doing to the glory of him and trying to win soul in my passing through. Because one day I want to, like the song say, if I can help somebody as I travel along, yes. that my living would Amen. not be in vain. And that's how I feel about it. Amen. So it's, and it's good to be Amen. here tonight. Thank you. It's so uh, happy, we're so happy to have you with us. And, and, and I agree with everything you just said because everything we do, we want God to get the glory mm -hmm. out of it. Amen. If, if he doesn't get the glory out of it, then there's no point of us doing it. it. That's, That's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. And Prophetess Virginia Turner, how are you tonight? Praise yeah. the Lord. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just on fire for the Lord tonight. You know, like the lady just sang, I, I, want, I want you. Praise God. We need the Lord, praise God, so badly. In the last days, so much has been going on, mm -hmm. Pastor Annie, and real Christians need to stand up now. Yes. Recess Amen. is over. It's time to really get busy Amen. for the Lord. Amen. And I just praise God for this opportunity. I've been wanting to be on your program, I'm telling you now. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in God's time, God, God's I tell time. you, yeah. sometimes people wait for God, want God to bless right away. But in God's time, in God's time. Because you happen. wait on him, he won't forget about you. That's yeah. right. And I'm happy to be here. I've come to praise God with you tonight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Praise thank you. Lord. And Prophetess, you, you know, um, Joanne and Jimmy Thompson, you know them, well, right? Well, I, I was the first black lady on WPJM about 40-some years wow. ago. Wow. Joanne and Jimmy, just they just picked me up and uh, adopted me. <laughs> I went into prison with Joanne, and we would stay in the hotel together. She taught me so much because I had just got saved, just came out of New York City. You know, I was around a lot of big stars and stuff. I had just came out of New York City, gave my life to the Lord, and God sent me to Channel 16. Wow. And... I was on a, a program on a Saturday night, and Joanne was away, but when she got back, she saw me on the uh, program. She said, how did I miss her? So finally, we got together. It's history from there on. They just, <laughs> I, I host programs, I, and I was the first one to play the white piano. <laughs> 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 and you know, I can't, uh, Pastor Anna, I can't read music, but honey, I got the anointing. <laughs> there you go. If the anointing hit them keys, honey, and your hand get to going, your feet get to shaking. I mean, that's what it's all about. Wow. So I'm it, you. It's just a blessing. It's it a is ble a blessing. It's it a is. blessing to know Jesus. Yes, it is. If, you, if a person don't know Jesus, you know, I don't know. If you don't know Jesus, you, mm -hmm. you messed up, especially nowadays. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, and I mean, if you're knowing, act like you're knowing. Amen. You understand? Mm -hmm. God don't need undercover agents. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> act like you're knowing. Don't be ashamed of him. And if you mess up, confess, repent, and get up and start all over again. That's right. That's exactly right. There's no time to turn back. That's right. So, Bishop. Yes. I read a scripture about, you know, we are all to go into all the worlds and preach and teach and baptize. You, are, you have a worldwide ministry. Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Pastor Anna, uh, I do have a worldwide ministry. Uh, I have a uh, pathetic word from the desk of the bishop. Thank you, Lord. I have given my whole life uh, in these last days, I would say, of my time. I'm, 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 I'm at the age now where, you know, I can say that, uh, that God has been mighty good to me. Yes. Uh, he given me gifts and talent 
untold. You know, mm. I sometimes I feel bad for others that he gave us to me so much. Yes. But I try to utilize them to be a blessing to other people. I'm not selfish with what God has given me because I don't take it as he just gives me to say, I got this. Mm -hmm. He gave it to me for the benefit to use it for the upbuilding of the kingdom right. and to be inspirated to somebody's life. This is what I feel like. But further in ministry, going ministry, yes. I have uh, on Mondays, uh, you can catch me on uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Wide World Ministry, A Word Around the World, where I am in different location uh, uh, doing the word of God. I'll be maybe on the the Baguettes Bridge down there on 385 or maybe downtown, <laughs> yes. you may see me anywhere. And I'm doing the, the uh, ministry. And then on Tuesday, uh, you can catch me a prophetic word from the desk of the bishop. Mm -hmm. And people have told me that they have been very blessed. Amen. Wow. Some people say they use it for the devotion. Uh, it comes out every morning. Uh, my uh, son of the ministry, uh, uh, Pastor Uzziel McCullough, he does the video for me. Uh, and so he sets it out. He sets it out every Monday morning and Tuesday morning. And people get that. And so on Wednesday night, you can get me uh, teaching that Bible study at the Harvest Church. We also view that through screen. Mm -hmm. And then on, on Sunday, on Friday, I am on WPJM. I have what you call Word of Encouragement. Uh, on Friday from 1 until 3. And Pastor uh, Annie, if you've never caught that program, yeah. I say to the audience, that you never heard him on Friday on WPJM. Yeah. I mean, he's like old school when the preacher just, they didn't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> they just call it like it is because that's what's going to help people. Amen. And another thing Amen. I like about Bishop McCullough mm -hmm. is when he do that uh, uh, on the scene, it make you think about when preachers used to go out in the street. Yeah. We're going to have to hit the street again. And that's what he's doing, just going from different locations to different locations. It's just a blessing. And because of that, thank you, Prophet Turner, because of that, God has increased my territory. Wow. Uh, I had to say it like that. He has blessed me to even lungs out even in places that Amen. I could never dream a thought that would ever happen to yes. me, such as going to Africa. Yes. I heard about Africa and things like that, but never in my days I thought that I would have a, a privilege or opportunity to go to Africa, but I did. I went there last year, Pastor Annie, and, and, and done great things. I went there, and the whole Ghana took uh, heat hold to me, and, uh, and uh, we had a great time, Amen. done a lot of ministry. And as you look on the screen now, as you can see right there okay. is Amen. where I was in uh, at the uh, Keiko uh, Castle. That's where the slave was they talked to us about how they did the slaving days and and what happened back there in that day it was pretty rough and it was pretty tough it was pretty sad and we had the opportunity to walk through it to see all the right there is where the dungeon where they had the people's in they had Amen. 200 200 men in that one little cell right there mm, wow. 200 with no bathroom and uh, if they had to use the bathroom, there would be feces and everything else. Mm. They would die in their feces and whatever. It was pretty, pretty rough. It was sad. And, and you can feel the, the, the spirit. Yeah. You still can feel those slaving spirits down there. When you go and they tell me that they have to run them out of it before they let people come through. That's what they tell me. They mm. told us that the spirit of them still, you know, mm, still, still, it's, yeah. a, it's a feeling. And you can, when I was in there, you can feel it. You can feel it, and so it didn't bother me, but I'm saying that you can feel the spirit of them, that those slaves that was in there. It was pretty bad. That right there was a hole right there where they had them, they uh, looked down upon them, and they throw the food down to them from there like dogs. Mm. Uh, you know, and I'll tell y'all, you know, it, it's, it, it was bad during that time, and the thing about it, I don't know where you get to show that part or not, but they had a church on top. That was a church on top uh, where the slaves slept, down mm -hmm. at the bottom of the dungeon, the church on top, and then the, the, the leader, the, the, the king, the priest, he, he was on top of the church. He slept on top of the mm -hmm. church. And when they go to church, they were passed by there, and you can look down there in the hole and see the slave down there on Sunday while you're going to, into service. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I said to myself then, you know, I don't know who they were serving during that time. Mm -hmm. You know, for you can see slaves 
down there in that type of condition like that and then turn around and have service and serve God. That's pretty rough. But, but you know, Bishop, that's why it's so urgent, Pastor Anna. Yeah. People need support when you have a pastor like this going to Africa. My husband and I went to Kenya, Africa, and there's such a need there. Mm -hmm. And God has made a way for Bishop, open doors, and many things they want to do, like trying to get water there. Yeah. You know, we take water for granted here. Yeah. But water, the water is just so uh, polluted. And we need help. We need the help. I African. went down to the uh, river mm -hmm. with them where the children went to drink water. And it, mm. I mean, it was pitiful. I didn't talk about what I heard. I was down. I in went down own. there personally with my own eyes and mm -hmm. seen it. Walked down there with them. And uh, that's what the water they drank. That's all they got. No water in the village at mm -hmm. all. They had to go and get water from the stream right there. And then uh, their little house they live in on the ground. When it rains, it floods out and it get wet up everything. It's just bad. So what, what the deal, deal is, when I saw that, now some people can see things mm -hmm. and, and that's it, they see it and mm -hmm. say, oh, ain't that bad. But when I see things, mm -hmm. God, I have a heart. Yes. Yeah. I want to do something. Come on. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's one thing to see something and another thing want to do something. Right. The Bible said, be a doer Come on. of the, the word. word of God and yes. not a hearer on it. Yeah. Some people just hear it and that's it. But I'm a hearer and a doer of it. I wanted to do something. So that's why that I asked God if he would just lead and guide me and bless me. Mm -hmm. well, he know what I need. I would go and help them people. Mm -hmm. I went once mm -hmm. and did a whole lot of work. I'm going back July the 22nd. Okay. And my gold is, Pastor Anna, I'm trying to raise $50,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I want to put in wells. I want to get them people off the ground. And I want to uh, do something for them where they can have at least a, a little better life than what they yeah. have. Yeah. I can't help the whole Ghana, but if you can do just do one, bit. two, three territory at a time, right. that's a blessing. So I'm asking, you know, if you're looking in, if you hear me tonight and you see this and you see what it's all about yeah. and you feel in your heart, uh, don't be afraid to, to play it. Mm -hmm. Because the Lord will bless you. Yes. You know, you be a part of this by giving. You might can't go to Africa, but you're a part of what is happening by your seed you sow. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, I, if you can't do it, somebody do it for you. I'm right. going in the name of the Lord. Your seed will benefit what you have gave. You gave, God will bless you. Praise and God. the Lord loves a chip of giver and bless yes. those that gives in the name of the Lord. And bless you know, every drink of water that someone drink mm -hmm. from the well that God bless you place there. They be blessed. Yes. They get blessed because you help you help that mm -hmm. need. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, know, you know, when you go, you really have to go to Africa to really see because wow. you see so many programs, but you need to go because we are blessed in America. Yeah. We take water for granted. You're, uh, but once you go to Africa and see what he's seen over there, we need to help, praise God. I wish I could take 25 preachers with me over there. That would be oh, nice. Yeah. I yeah. wish I could take a, a more. I wish I could take 25 or more preachers over there. We can do a lot of work. Amen. But we praise God tonight. Wow. <laughs> what did they say? The Bible say, <laughs> don't despise small beginnings. <laughs> That's Amen. Because right. we don't right. know what God's right. getting ready to do. And I say to all Christians out there, That's right. God is getting, I told you, Pastor Andy, before we came on the air, yeah. God is getting ready to raise up Christians. Yes. The real, the real deal. Now, I'm not, yes. I'm not talking about the mess. The real saints that really got this thing in their heart. Got to have it in their heart. And God is looking for doers, like Bishop McCullough was saying. We need doers in 2022. Amen. Wow. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you for sharing that, Bishop and Prophetess. But right now, we're getting ready to go back to Summer's Reign, and she's going to be singing to the King. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Faithfulness. And this song is a simple testimony that will hopefully encourage your heart. Oh, we will cry it out, shout it out. Our love to you, King, and bear witness that you reign supreme. Let the whole earth rejoice over your faithfulness. Ooh, oh, well, we owe you our lives. Yes, we do. What can we repay? From one mother to the king, from one father to the king, where would we be? Where would we be? If you could just think about it for. 
for a moment and just shout it out and say, from one friend to the ultimate friend, we all friends of God. Shout it out, I praise to thee and give glory for all of the things we can now see. Thomas Rain is so gifted and blessed by the Lord. Amen. Yes. And you can tell that God is in her. Yeah. His hand is on her life. Yes. And God is doing great things through her. We're so blessed to have her with us on Nightline tonight. But Bishop, you also have, um, you went to Ghana. You, 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 you've gone everywhere. I mean, you've done a lot of things. Yes, I have, uh, Pastor Anna. I have done uh, quite a few things in Ghana. Uh, like I said, I, 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 the time I went there for just the two weeks that I was there, mm -hmm. uh, I preached about it every night that I was there. For the whole two weeks, except for that Saturday, I baptized on that Saturday. I licensed 39 uh, pastors. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, they have a school of theology. I uh, uh, did the school for the uh, theme, the dean. Yeah. Uh, I did the graduation for them. Uh, uh, Lice and ordained some of them. I uh, consecrated some bishop and apostles. Uh, when I say, you know, I took them through the catechism like we do, but they are some very uh, strong believers. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I tell you them people worship yes, God, yeah. you can feel the Holy Ghost yes. in them people. They don't play. Now, yes. we, we worship over here, but we got a little <laughs> bit stepping up to do Amen. To, to catch up with them over there. I tell you, because when I left Africa, I was so full of the spirit that I done found myself elevated. Wow. In the spirit, I ain't been the same since I came from Ghana, Africa. Uh, right there, you see on the on the screen. This is where that I was. I did the uh, uh, the license. The that's a, that's Pastor uh, Sam Smith there. Yeah. Uh, he was my interpreter. He was very good when I was preaching Amen. or whatever I was doing. They put him with me the whole time. That's one of the pastors there. Uh, that I licensed. I did a, quite a few of them. Didn't take pictures of all of them, but there's a lot of them that yeah. I did do. Uh, that's the that's Pastor Caesar. That's my contact. That's how I got to Africa. He called me one day and told me that the Lord wanted him to call me and uh, say his father died. And when his father died, his father told him yeah. that there would be a bishop from South Carolina mm. is going to come <laughs> and help you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I believe it because <laughs> two years ago, come on now. two years ago, Pastor Aaron and Brother Turn, that, that uh, the Lord told me that somebody from a strange country wow. is going to come. But I paid no attention. I just knew I heard that voice. Mm -hmm. I just went on. And when it happened, I knew it came to pass. It was God. And so we connected and going to show you it was real because it, was all, it all happened. And Amen. it happened without any problem. I went to wow. Africa, done what I had to do, come back with no problem at Amen. all. God blessed me there. God blessed me back. And I'm just looking again to go back to finish up some more work that the Lord is leading me to do. We got bigger stuff uh, over there now. Uh, they have people that come from other part of Africa now, I ain't, I ain't going to July, mm -hmm. but they over there now waiting on me to get there. <laughs> wow. In a field, waiting on me now to get to Ghana. So I'm telling you, God is, is moving in a mighty way. And Pastor Anna and Prophet Turner, God using those that wants Come to on now. be you. Mm -hmm. I wants to be yeah. used by God. God. I mean, Thank this you. is what I live for, to serve God. I mean, yes. you know, I mean, I'm... I've done seen it all. God been good to me. And I told the Lord that for the rest of my days, mm -hmm. I, I want to be used until Amen. you use me up. There you go. That's what I want. And so I'm, I'm grateful to do the will of the Lord. I love seeing people say, getting saved, deliver, life changes. I love that's That's my heart. You can put million dollars before me. I appreciate it, but that don't stir in me <laughs> as if I see a soul come to Jesus. Come on. Now, you want to see me dance a little bit, let me see a soul get saved. But do you know what I like when you, when you talked about uh, faith? Those Africans, they, they, don't go, they don't walk by sight. No. Mm -hmm. They believe in their heart and soul that God's going to do whatever they believe he's going to do. They believe yeah. They walk. You can learn how to walk by faith by some of them over there. It yeah. would build your faith up. But I thank God because had it not been for us trusting God, you got to trust God, walk by faith and not by sight. We miss a lot of blessing because we want to see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got to, in, in 2022, whether it's mm -hmm. Africa or whether it's America, we better walk by faith and not by sight because we're going to miss a lot of blessings. Absolutely. Well, you know, I'm blessed to, to uh, have been to Africa and done that. But I want to tell you, Pastor Aaron and Prophet Turner, that... Uh, when if later on that uh, I have other countries that I will be visiting, such yeah. as Haiti, they're gonna send me to Haiti Amen. to do churches also. And so I'm in this with this group that have chose me to to do this. So I'll be working with them. So my life is committed uh, to the Lord to do. I thank God for you know support here. Those at home, such as my home church, mm -hmm. Rita River Missionary Baptist Church, who I love, that's my home church. Oh, okay. Great people down there. My church, uh, Harvard Missionary Bible Church, and my people and all of my churches that I cover. We have Amen. totally, uh, totally about, about 83 churches with Africa and here in South Carolina. 
about 83 churches, and uh, we thank God for every one of them, and, and uh, the pastors, we talk all the time, and me being <laughs> the residing bishop, my hand is full. And I, I love doing this. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, and I'll do this until I die. Mm -hmm. I, I love, I mean, this is something I love. I love preaching. I love teaching. I love people. Doesn't matter who you are. I have a heart for people. Mm -hmm. I really do. And so, you know, and I don't get mad at nobody. I just pray for you. <laughs> and you know, uh, uh, Pastor Annie, Bishop, we were on the radio together, WPJM Radio. So I mm -hmm. used to be on on Saturday. He's on Friday. But ever since I met him, he's been the same. As I said, my husband, Bishop Turner, put me on, introduced me to Bishop. Mm -hmm. And he's been the same. You know, some people change. They change around certain people. They ch but he's been the same, steadfast. Wow. And it seemed like God is not only is he opening doors, he blowing up some doors now. <laughs> <laughs> some dino, what, what they got used to be on TV, dino might. <laughs> So, Prophetess, you are a part of, you're involved in this missionary work too, aren't you? Yes, well, you know, uh, I have, it's a long story, but I've been working for the Lord for a long time. I've been all over the world working for the Lord, but God is getting ready now to get me back. I got to start back my ministry because yes, yes. once my husband passed, Bishop mm -hmm. Napoleon Turner passed, it just, it, it was a shocker. Mm -hmm. But God is able, I don't, I don't, I have not questioned God. I don't ask God why. His work was finished, but not my, I've got to finish my work now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thank God to have that mind that I want to continue on because some people get a blow and a lot of they turn away. Mm -hmm. But it's no time to turn away. No. Go through your suffering. A lot of widows out there just like me. Mm -hmm. Go through because at the end of the tunnel, God got a big blessing for you. Yes. God, and God don't make mistakes. And right now, I'm looking forward. I have a book I'm trying to finish the book up. I, I, some doors are getting ready to open for me. I want to get back in my ministry. I want to help Bishop McCullough uh, some. I, I want to get busy. Saints need to get busy now. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind. Is what? The, the devil, devil works. Work. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Well, he tells us that our latter days would be better than our former. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, and I believe that the, these are the best days. You know, I've been preaching, uh, Pastor Anna, now 45 years. Amen. Wow. 45 years of preaching. The gospel. I mean, hard preaching. I don't mean just coasting. I've been pushing. I've been through trials and tribulation. I've been persecuted Lord on every side. Mercy. And that's what really made me. That's why I love my enemies. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that sounds funny, but I do because my enemy is what helped me get where Amen. I'm at. Amen. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, Amen. see, your, your, your friends, the culture encourage you. Yeah. But your enemy really is your strength. Bring that fire. And when you can <laughs> endure hardness as a good soldier, mm -hmm. then you know you're climbing. Amen. Well, so, you know, I say this right here to whoever listening out there that I'm like the writer, uh, uh, Isaiah, uh, the prophet said, uh, has thou not known, remember that, mm -hmm. uh, and has thou not heard the everlasting God, the Lord huh. of the end of the earth, Come faint on. is not. Come on. Neither is he weary. Come on now. Then he goes on and said, there's no searching of his understanding. Yes. Yes. He giveth power to the yes. faint. Come on. And to them that has no might, yes. he increases their yes. strength. But this is the part I like right here. Even a youth Come on now. may faint and be weary, and a young man may utterly fall. But here it is. They that waits Wait. upon the Lord mm. shall renew yeah. their strength. They shall mount up with wings of an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. Well. They shall walk and yeah. not faint. And that's what I'm doing today Jesus. by the wow. grace of God. That's all right there. Praise Lord. the name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let's have some church. Oh, that was powerful. <laughs> Thank Amen. you. Mm. Amen. That was so powerful. Well, I get stirred up when I'm thinking about Jesus. Well, honey, we want you to get <laughs> yeah, stirred up. I get up stirred because... up. I'm trying to hold my peace in here. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to be still, Pastor Anna. I'm trying to be good. Don't, Amen. Don't. I'm getting happy. The, we, 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 we the, sister, nice. the system got me stirred Amen. up. Saying, and, Amen. And then we're talking. I, I'm feeling mighty good tonight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I do want to thank God for, you know, everyone. I take this serious. This is this journey that I'm doing is real. Mm -hmm. It ain't no joke to it. It's a risk of your life, but I'm risking for Christ. Yes. The Bible said, he that loses life for my sake, mm. for my sake shall find it. But he that finds his own life shall lose it. Wow. So I tell folks, yes. if I go over there and don't get back, 
<laughs> just say he died for a good cause. Come on, Bishop. Hallelujah. Come I know on, that's Bishop. not funny, but I'm serious. Come on, Bishop. He died doing a good deed. Amen. And so, but I know the Lord, the same God that took me last time and brought me back, he'll do it again. So Bishop, I, you know that sounds like, can't nobody do, do me like, like Jesus. Nobody. Oh. Praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you interested in that, like I say, Amen. I desire everyone that would take this serious, that are looking in mm -hmm. tonight, you know, if you can sow a seed. That's right. The, there's on the screen up there the uh, the uh, peel box, the address, and you can sow to Harvard Missionary Bible Church uh, Mission Fund for uh, for uh, Ghana, Africa. You can sow those seeds Amen. and God will bless you. Don't be afraid. I tell folks that money is no good if you're not using you it for the right it. thing. Wow. You, Lord, you can have all so the true. money you want in the world. If you ain't doing nothing with it, it ain't no good. Amen. You know, it's not what you have, it's what you do with what you have. Amen. And God gives the blessing to those he can get it through. That's what God does. Mm -hmm. And so I pray if you're out there tonight and you want to be blessed, if you want to sow a seed, you won't, you won't, you won't regret it. Trust me, this is a good ground. I'm Amen. going in the name of the Lord to help somebody, a country. Mm -hmm. And when you sow the seed, you'll be sowing into a good ground. Mm -hmm. And you'll be doing something good for somebody that is definitely in need. And you know, Bishop, we were talking about uh, going to Africa. If, they, if you're gonna plant a seed in this ministry, go on and do it because the more you can get, the more you can have get done over there instead mm -hmm. of trying to wait to the last minute. Absolutely, that, and that is the truth. I, I need it as soon as possible so I can know what I got because you know, late to the last moment, it put me in a screen. Yes. If you feel that, thank you, Papa Turner, you, you are right. If you're gonna, if you fit in your heart, let me put it like this, if you fit in your heart, and the Lord is leading you, go mm -hmm. ahead and do it because that way we can know what we have before I prepare myself to yeah. make this journey. Mm -hmm. I need to know before time. So God will bless you. You're not giving nothing to right. the bishop. I, you're not giving me nothing. You give it for the cause of this ministry. Amen. For the needs of the people in Ghana, Africa. That's yes. what you're doing. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God. Well, Bishop, he's doing exactly what he was commanded to do what he was commissioned to do through the Holy Spirit. He's going, he's making, he's baptizing, and he's teaching. Amen. To God Hallelujah. be all the glory. Thank you. So right now we're getting ready to go back to Psalmist Rain. De Daniel Easley, heaven will respond. <laughs> Amen. Listen, <laughs> whatever you're going through today, we want you to know that heaven is not only listening, Heaven is responding to you tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you.
We just slip our hands up Amen. to the Lord praise tonight. The Lord. Give Thank you, praise. praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank, Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Lord. Thank Thank Lord. Jesus. Lord. Jesus. Lord. We bless you. Glory, glory, glory. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We love yes. Jesus. Yes. You are Love worthy, you, Lord. Tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for everybody that's called in tonight. We have had a lot of people to call in tonight, and we are so blessed that you have tuned in and that you are calling in. Uh, one lady called in. She says, um, ask, ask Bishop McCullough to sing a song for us. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, he can't sing tonight, but guess what? He's going to be coming back Amen. <laughs> in the future. And so we're going to announce when he's coming back, when he, get, when he gets ready to come back. So you'll be sure and tune Amen. in to hear him sing. But we know you can sing, though. Amen. We know you're anointed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Bless you. Amen. And somebody else called in. We had a praise report. And they said, we have been praying for my dog that, it, that was very sick. Amen. God has healed my dear pet. Amen. Thanks to the prayer partners that prayed for me. And for my pet. Come on, we're praying. Amen. God. That's Amen. Children. Praise God yeah. because Amen. God is concerned about everything Everybody. that Man, concerns bro. us. So right. to God be all the glory. And again, we had someone called in and said they have a rash on their right side. Thank you, Lord. Somebody else called in and said they have diabetes and they're praying that God would heal them from diabetes. Uh, somebody else said that all their family need prayer tonight. Amen. So before we go off the air, uh, the first hour, we're going to ask Bishop McCullough and Prophet Turner if they'll pray again over these awesome Thank prayer you, requests. Lord. Amen. Yes, Praise will. God. 
But we have we have another uh, rolled in. Um, is it Cape Cod? Yeah, Cape Cod Castle. Amen. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's right. So tell us about that. Why they doing that? This is where the, they down. This is where they went into the church. Mm -hmm. And down there, see where is where the, where the slave was. You, they had you can look down there on Sunday and see the slave. It was almost like to them a sight to see. You know, you want to see a view of something. Well, that's what they took it as, and they were going into the into the church right there. That's the church right there, or that window there. Mm -hmm. They go into the sanctuary from from there, and down beneath was the uh, was the uh, slave. Amen. Yeah. And I mean, it was it was it was sad, but. We thank God, and I, I told that one of the instructors there, I said, you know, he said he died. I said, that's probably the best thing that ever happened because they out there miserable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, so, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, death is not an enemy. Death can be a friend. We thank God yeah. because the Bible said to be absent from the body to be present. is to be present with the Lord. And when yeah. Paul talks about we groan, earnest desiring to be closed upon and I can see yeah. some situation in life that we go through make people wants to go ready yeah. to go amen and in this time Pastor Annan and Prophet Turner I yeah. never in my days see or uh, hear people say like they said now I'm ready to go uh, yeah. I, I'm uh, in a time of the Lord that's what I hear all the time now yeah include me I mean I, whenever God get ready I'm ready too but what I'm saying to you is more now of that and you can tell we're living in that, that day. The preacher uh, uh, that said that uh, uh, it's, a, it's a time. It's a time. Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. for everything. You know, time to live, there's a time to die, mm -hmm. there's a time to moan, there's a time to cry, and all of that. We're living on a time now. And these things are circling around the time where it is happening. And so we have to just, we have to be alert, stay sober, like the Bible said, yeah. and be aware of our surrounding because we are living in the last yes. days. That's the bottom line. So yes. my thing is, Pastor Annan and, and the Prophet Turner tonight, that if we're going to really preach the gospel, we need to preach. If we ever mm -hmm. had to preach, it's time for preachers to preach Amen. the gospel. Yes. It's time for that now because they're so, it, it, we are so close. And the enemy is fighting. He's out there. The, Paul said like this, that our fight is not against principality, yeah. uh, not against uh, flesh and blood, but against principality, mm -hmm. power, yeah. spiritual weakness in high places. And so he, tell, he tells us to put on the whole armor. We better get ready. We are in a war fair battle right now with the devil. He's, he's, he's on the loose, and he's but, trying but, to win all he can. But, you know, Bishop, we're at a time now where mm -hmm. the devil is tricking a lot of our leaders, making them afraid to preach, preach the truth. Mm -hmm. yes. They think they can have uh, get more members if uh, they sugarcoat it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But people the want thing. the truth now. They may not act like, but they want the truth because the truth is what will change you. It'll set you free. You see, it, it'll make you free. And right now, if there ever was a time, you 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 got to tell the people the truth. Tell them, just tell them what the Bible say. That's it. You don't have, you don't have to add to it. Just tell them what the Bible say. Well, These there's are, a scripture for that, what you just said, that the time will come that man would not endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, to themselves, they would heat themselves. Teachers will be having itching ears. They will turn from the truth and turn unto fable. And you got to be careful with that. You know, you got to be careful. That's why I say, you know, if you sincere with God, this is the only thing I can encourage everybody tonight. If you in, if you sincere with God, mm -hmm. God would be serious with you. He'll bless you untold. He's looking for somebody that he can, he can count on. Mm -hmm. He's looking for somebody that he can bless, you know. And when you get to the point where God is pleased with you, then God start pouring out his divine blessing on, upon now. you. Amen. I mean, things will happen Thank for you that you, you never can dream or imagine yes. in your mind. And yes. the Bible said he can do that which is exceedingly and abundantly. abundantly and above the thing that we can All ever right. think or even ask for. Bishop, let, let me share this with uh, you and Pastor and the people listening. I had a birthday Saturday, mm -hmm. and I turned a wonderful number. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful number. <laughs> a beautiful Holy Ghost number. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> but I was, in, I was at Walmart, mm -hmm. and I was, I, I was getting ready to pay for some merchandise I had got. And it was about $70. So 
So I was talking with this lady in front of me, you know, waiting for my turn. And I said, y'all, this is my birthday, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they wished me a happy birthday. And so I'm waiting for the lady to move on with her merchandise. And she said, I'm going to pay, I want to pay for her stuff, which is almost $70. Well, I, do. I said, you don't? She said, no, I want to pay for it. And then right behind me, another lady said, I want to give you $20. Well, I said, I'm in the right lane now. <laughs> <laughs> but that show you how yes, God can make people just bless you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You see? So, yeah. Bishop, we yeah. only have just a few minutes mm -hmm. left with you and prophetess. But I want to ask, where can we find more information about you so people can't sow into you, into the ministry? For, for the addresses wise in uh, uh, in uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, my church is located in Cherrydale, 701 Worthy Road, W-O-R-L-Y-L-E-Y, -E uh, Worthy Road, Greenville, South Carolina, 29609. My peer box is, is uh, 16791. That's 16791 Greenville, South Carolina, 29606. My, my uh, corporate office, which is located in Malden, this is where everything runs out of this. I have a corporate office, and <laughs> it is 501 West Butler Road. Uh, it's Greenville area. It's in Malden, but it's Greenville, South Carolina, and it's uh, 29607 Sweet H, H for hat. You may remember that, Sweet H. And that, that's my uh, <laughs> uh, headquarter. If you want to reach me, my, my phone number listed, 864-920-9302. And I have also another phone number you see listed on the, on the bulletin there. Call me, don't be afraid. On Fridays, <laughs> uh, you can call WPJM from, I have prayer line uh, from uh, 145 to 2 o'clock. That's a prayer line people calls in. Call in if you want to. Anytime. You can call me anytime. I, I will set up and talk to you if you call to me for a good course, a good cause. I will come, I, I will get up anytime. <laughs> I will get up out of midnight if you want me to and talk to you because Bishop, this is really needed. We got to close out the first hour. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning to the first hour. Stay tuned for the second hour. Summer's Rain is going to be on the set with me. She's also our musical guest for the evening. Bishop, will you and prophets please pray over Amen. these prayer requests? Thank you. God bless you in a few minutes. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Father God, in yes, the precious God. name of Jesus. Right now, Lord. Oh, God, we ask for your blessing you, upon Jesus. these requests here yes, tonight. God. Only you and you alone can fix it, Hallelujah. Lord. Only you and you Church alone right have now, power God. untold, Heal, Lord. Is, you work God. miracles right in many now, ways. God. We claim healing right now in the Don't name of Jesus. Jesus. Diabetes, cancer, whatever it is. We pray right now, Thank God, you, that you will move upon right the individual now, that sent in the request tonight. You, oh, God, that we will give you the glory to whatever you do. You, we count on you. We depend on you. Thank we you, love Lord. you. We adore you. We magnify your name. We trust you, Lord. We speak healing and blessing in the name of Jesus Christ.